This is another view of the International Space Station I captured a couple of hours ago and on the right hand side is one of the uh, tropical systems in the West Pack. However, in this update we have a look at what's going on in the East Pack. Welcome to another update from the uh, Force 13 Red and National Hurricane Center has upgraded Tropical Storm Lane to Hurricane Status and Lane becomes the sixth Hurricane of the 2018 Pacific season and is expected to strengthen into a major Hurricane by Saturday. This is the life of Lane up to earlier today. Hurricane Lane, it's about 1540 miles west southwest of the southern tip of the Baja California, 1780 miles east southeast of Hilo, Hawaii, makes a sustained wind 75 miles an hour. It's moving west northwest at 15 miles per hour, and central pressure is 992. Now here's a look at what the NHC is saying and we start off with their track cone. A motion between west or west rest is expected during the next few days and lane is forecast to cross over into the central Pacific Basin on Saturday. Service wind field of the hurricane. Maximum sustained winds have increased to near 75 miles per hour or 120 kilometers an hour with higher gusts. Earliest reasonable arrival time of uh, tropical storm force winds. Rapid strengthening is expected for the next 36 to 48 hours and is forecast to become a major hurricane by Saturday. However, little change in strength is expected on Sunday. Most likely arrival time of tropical storm force winds. The Joint Typhoon Warning Centre has issued a tropical cyclone formation alert for, I think it's 91W. They finalised their warnings on Babinka and Wambia. Tropical soft force wind speed probabilities. And again, the people of the Big Island will be keeping a close eye on Lane. And the Joint Typhoon Warning Center's current advisory indicates 1463 nautical miles south southwest of San Diego, tracking west northwest of 14 knots over the last six hours. Now this is the 50 knot wind speed probability, how it can force wind speed probabilities. Rave height is 20 feet. Now here's a look at another satellite imagery of Hurricane Lane. And at this point in time there's no warnings or watches. Force 13 will continue to bring the latest uh, information and what it has been a very active uh, period over there in the Westpac tropical storm 
Actually, this is uh, incorrect now because the NHC is upgraded to hurricane status. However, EPS track guidance. The NCEP GFS ensemble track guidance. And could Lane adopt a track like Hector did? Now we have a look at some uh, precipitation. This is uh, 14 member to make up this image and 14 unofficial members. All this information is available on the NHC, no websites. Here's some uh, floaters. Unfortunately, the uh, the motion floaters have the same technical issues. So we're looking at a still image. Here's the latest VORAC. Visible infrared microwave satellite imagery indicate that Lane's overall cloud pattern has continued to improve with several spiral bands and a more symmetrical outflow pattern having developed, although the inner core convection has deteriorated somewhat until just recently due to the entrainment of dry air microwave image indicates that a world defined inner core Low level eye feature has formed. Joy Tide for the warning center's uh, current chart. So the NHC is saying that Dane is developing a inner core and a low level eye feature. However, a nearly closed wing, a cold top convection has developed near the centre, so the intensity is set at 65 knots at the advisory time. The upper level divergence. Hurricane Lane has made a sharp jump towards the west northwest during the last six hours, but this is believed to be a short term wobble due to the convection having recently wrapped around the north side of the low level centre. The wind shear and lane is in a very favourable environment. The 24 hour shear tendency, 850 millibar vorticity. A return to a general westward motion is expected to resume shortly. Latest model guidance remains good. Agreement on lane continuing moving between west and west northwest for the next three to four days. Followed by a turn back towards the west on day five. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, which has had a revamp and is still under reconstruction, but take a look. Also, YouTube, of course, if you haven't subscribed, that might be a good idea. Visit Force 13. We're also on Facebook under the same name, of course, and you can like us on there, and you can also follow us on Twitter. Search Force 13 all in text for those. You can also add Force 13 on Skype or my personal account on Discord, Fool13, at extension 9094.